ありがとうございました Yo, what is going on, guys? Oh, hi, Open Big Gaming here. And today I am back on one of my favorite My Hero Academia games. To me, this game stood out for many reasons, and I'm glad it's finally back. It has been a few months since I did a video on this game, and that's basically because it was closed for a while. But yeah, man, Your Hero Academia is finally back. And as you can see, the first thing we're going to do is customize our character. That was not even a thing back when it was out for testing the first time around. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and customize my character real quick. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like it. If you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join my Discord. And if you guys want to play with me, make sure you cop one of those memberships. Also, don't forget to check out Gamersubs. They're an amazing company and their products are some of the best on the market right now. But yeah, man, with all of that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I got my character customized, but before we get into the gameplay, I want to give you guys some codes. And for the first time ever, I actually have a code in this game, bro. I finally got a code. I finally made it, bro. I've been grinding on YouTube for like a year now, and I finally got a code. So yeah, let me give you guys my exclusive code. This is going to be sub to Ohio Pepe Gaming. As you can see right there, we got a common spin and an uncommon spin. Another code for you guys is tester, release. But yeah, those are the only two codes that are working right now. Hopefully those will still work when the game does release. But yeah, man, it's pretty cool to have an actual code in game. Let's go ahead and hit play. Check this game out. All right, so once you load in game, you're going to have this question mark right on the left side. And this will be a quick tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and read through these pages. Help you guys out real quick. Welcome to Your Hero Academia. This game is inspired by the anime My Hero Academia created by In this game, you will fight heroes, villains, NPCs, bosses, and even other players. You can travel around the city, level up your characters, and gain power. Collect various items from bosses, spar with your friends, and much more. You can find the basic controls in the description of the game. To get your first quirk, travel over to the hospital icon on your map at all times. You are not guaranteed to get the quirk you want, even if you do spin, it is still a chance. To get more spins, you can do three things. You can open the shop icon on your screen. Scrolling down will give you access to buy spins for yen. You can wait for a code to give spins, or you can buy spins with Robux. Your quirk is your main source of power. Once you get your quirk, you have to level it up. Each quirk has their own level bar called Ability Level. Leveling this up unlocks new abilities for your quirk and gives some quirks special features at a certain ability level. All quirks are good in their own way, though this does not necessarily mean that all quirks are as good as the plus ultra ones. Factions are your choice to become a hero or a villain. In the future, factions will allow you to get into different agencies, which allow you to earn money and unlock different agency specific abilities. Factions also allow you to unlock different quirks, like Deku One For All or even All For One. So if you're a hero, you can unlock Deku One For All, but if you're a villain, you can get All For One. I don't think I've played any games that have faction specific quirks. To get fame, you can kill either a hero for negative fame or a villain for positive fame. Heroes and villains spawn around the map randomly, each coming with a random quirk. They give rewards based on two factors, their health, their damage output, and their damage output. Civilians give no reward at all. Bosses are NPCs that spawn on a specific location on the map at a certain server time. You can check your server time in the top left corner of your phone. For example, the sludge boss has a half chance to spawn every 10 minutes at the beach these bosses are not easy to be on your own so a party is recommended bosses have a chance to drop items this item drop chance can be different for each mob you will be eligible for drop if you do at least 12 and a half percent of the boss's hp bosses will despawn in five minutes and will regenerate when they are not being attacked or attacking anyone all right last one each item in the game comes in four rarities common uncommon rare and plus ultra each rarity of an item gives better stats and can even give better abilities items can be acquired in numerous ways but the two main ways are to buy items at the item shop or to get them from bosses. There are two types of items, gear and weapons. You can only have one of each item equipped at a time. So once again, if you ever wanna see that tutorial, just hop up right here. As you can see, I gave my guy the Shikamaru look. Ho! Oh! Wait, hold on, this is, I don't know what they changed in this game, bro, but it looks a lot cleaner somehow. I love when games have the cell shading, which is the uh, outlining of your character. And just little things like when you go to the menu, your guy actually pulls out a phone, bro, like, that's clean. That's just clean, bro. Another thing is that in the first testing, you can only attack with Q, but now you can also attack with M1. But yeah, man, I'm pretty much always a hero in these kind of games. So I'm honestly not too sure if I want to go for villain. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a quirk. 
and I'll base my decision on that. Engine. Engine in this game is actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and keep engine for now. Oh, yeah, we fast. We fast now, boy. All right. And then dash is uh, double tap W. All right. It's not too bad. All right. So since we got engine, that is Ida's quirk. So we're going to go ahead and be a hero, I guess. Let's come over here. Go ahead and get over to UA. Let's talk to this man over here. Bully the kid. Hello, can you help me defeat three bullies? They have been beating me up. Bruh, I almost said recently. All right, recently. All right, let's go. I can't exactly remember what is different. I know the lighting is definitely better, but I'll try to post like some before and after shots here. Let's go ahead and beat this man up though. Let's go, let's go. Bro, this combat is too smooth right now. Yeah, we can side dash, okay. Oof, can we block? Yeah, we can. I think it's R. Yep, it's R. Okay. Bro, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Bro. All right, that was easy. That was easy. Bro, I'm so used to games having Q as dash. Gonna have to get used to this again. This game always had like some of the best looking quirks, bro. All right, so beyond the quirks, we also do have the gym over here. I'm not going to do anything in the gym just because it's kind of boring to watch that. Also, if you press L, you get your uh, little quest log right here. It's pretty dope. Oh, bro. They have like people randomly talking out here. I thought this was a player, but they have like NPCs that just walk around talking to each other, bro. Stain and sludge just spawn. I couldn't even fight stain when I was like max level in this game. All right. So the beach definitely looks the same from what I remember. The game was pretty dark back in the day and this man right here is sludge. Oh, I'll beat this man up, bro. All right, we got to watch out, though. This dude's strong. This dude's pretty strong. All right, yeah. That's how I thought it would go. Look at this man. 18,000. Bruh. Hold on. It's about to be a cakewalk. Pop. Ooh. All right, back up, back up. All right. Bro, look at the AOE on that, dog. I just noticed how big that AOE is. Check that out. Crazy. That's crazy, bro. I've yet to see anything like that for gigantification in other games, bro. It's usually just like a little stomp or something. All right, let's see. Let's see. First one. Bro, bro, use your second ability, bro. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work, bro. That's how it's supposed to work. Oh, bro, civilians fight back. Hold on, hold on. No way, bro. This is a civilian NPC, bro. Completely. Nah. Yo, they taunted me too. Bro, this man was laughing at me, dog. Where's he at now? That's what I thought. Look at you. Look at you, bro. Man stuck in there. The knockback on this quirk is incredible, bro. This man is all the way on the other side of the beach now. All right, guys. So this game is honestly still one of my favorite My Hero games on Roblox. And I feel like it definitely elevated itself on that list just because it does look a lot better. It looks so much cleaner, smoother. The combat is really fast paced. It's not as dark anymore. But yeah, man, I'm definitely excited to grind this game now. And I have done an old Quirks video before, but if you guys want to see like a revamped version, I think the Quirks look different now. I have to kind of go back and watch my old video to see if they do in fact look different. And if they are different enough, I'll definitely pop out another video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, if you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join my Discord, and don't sleep on those memberships. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>